I'm already pre-approved and my real estate agent wants me to switch lenders, what should I do? Okay, so let's talk about this because there can be some really good reasons your real estate agent is asking you to switch to another lender and then there's just some reasons that are not that great. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is if a real estate agent says, oh no, you have to use XYZ. Okay, first of all, you guys don't have to use anyone. All real estate agents are supposed to, if you ask, give you a couple different options and never steer you to one person. Sending you to one person is considered steering, which is a huge no-no, okay? Now, can they force you to use a specific lender? Absolutely not. And if they say they won't work with you unless you use that lender, that is a red flag, okay? Now, are some real estate agents trying to steer you? <laughs> to, let's, let's reuse that word. Are some real estate agents trying to guide you to a couple, okay? Once again, not one, but a couple different loan officers that they trust, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. But if they're telling you, do not use this lender, you have to use one of these three, the question that you need to ask as a buyer is, hey, you know, what's your experience with this lender? Why don't you wanna work with them? Okay, and if they say, oh, well, we had another transaction and they were terrible and no one could get a hold of them, or you know, they have a reputation for not closing on time, you know, in VA world, there's actually a huge national lender that real estate agents want nothing to do with. Nothing, actually, there's a couple, um, and it's the big boys that you guys see all the time, and it's because they don't close on time, they don't close fast. They will say, oh, yeah, it takes 45 days to close a VA loan. Does it take 45 days? Absolutely not. You can close everything in under 30 days. I can't think of any loan. Okay, the only loan in this in this environment you can't close under 30 days is a renovation loan. Okay, everything else can be closed in under 30 days. But there's certain companies where speed is not what they care about, it's not what they promote, and they really don't try very hard, okay? Is that a valid reason to change lenders? It's a valid reason to look at another lending option, okay? I strongly believe that. Like. Personally, I have never used a call center lender for any of my transactions. And even if it was cheaper, I would never in 10 million years Okay, go and use a call center lender. So 800 numbers, you know, the big box lenders where you're gonna be like, oh, it's Bob, oh wait, it's John, oh wait, it's this. You could not pay me to use them. And the reason I don't use them is because I have heard all the horror stories and I have had to personally step in and save files that have gone sideways at these companies. Even if it's a little bit more, and most of the time it's not, that's what you guys need to know these companies that are doing these huge ads where they're like, call us, call us, call us, call us. Do you know how much money that costs? Guess how they make that money? It's off of you, but they give you the illusion that they're gonna be cheaper. Well, we're, we're I don't wanna use any slogans because I know I'll get sued, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of times they're not cheaper, a lot of times they're more expensive. So you're actually paying more for less, okay? But I will not even go near that when I'm buying a house because what I'm always looking for is I am looking for the best professional I can find, the best individual, and it can change. You know, I've got a couple go-to lenders where for specific scenarios, I know exactly who I'm going to because they are the best at it. You know, I've got a guy who's really good with complicated tax returns and, you know, properties that aren't gonna be what normal lenders will do. Great, and then I've got a gal who's one of the top lenders in the country who anything that, you know, in the traditional world needs to be done, her team is like lightning, okay? That is what I look for as a lender. And the reason is because I want my transaction to close. I know how expensive it is to fall out of contract and I am not taking that risk, okay? And real estate agents often will be guiding you guys not to take that risk. So if they say, hey, don't work with this lender, they're a call center, like that's what they're trying to guide you towards. It is not a bad idea to get a second opinion, okay? And the thing you need to know is like, a lot of, a lot of lenders business is based on real estate referrals. So they are very careful to make sure that they do an excellent job so the realtor keeps on sending them business. Okay. Now, if you talk to the real estate's preferred lender and you don't like them, do you have to use them? 
No, sometimes real estate agents will refer you to someone that they don't really know because they don't really have a preferred lender. They may be newer to the business. They may not understand the importance of having a couple lenders that are really good surrounding them. Um, you know, so don't feel like you have to be trapped and it's illegal. Okay. It is totally illegal for a lender to pay a real estate agent for business referrals, but have we all heard stories of that happening? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So sometimes there can be some shady stuff going on. So you just want to be aware. Okay. You know, is this person doing a great job? Look up reviews. If there's reviews correlate it. Great. Okay. Now something important I want to note. So I am licensed in 48 States. I am not a call center. So I am a local lender that went national because there's a demand for transparency fast speed and you know, a team that specializes in purchases. And that's what myself and my team do. We specialize in purchases throughout the country. You know, we have a realtor concierge. We've got everything on tap that I think a real estate agent would ever want to be happy. And we do this because we want our clients to have the best experience. So there's not a lot of people in the industry like me yet, like offhand, there's probably 10 or 15 that are doing business in a similar way, multi-state. But I think you're going to start to see more of that. So it's important that you know that just because someone's in multiple states, it does not mean they're in a call center. The call centers are those big box lenders where you're calling for the big box and then you get assigned to whomever. Okay. That is a call center. Now, what do you do if you really like your lender and your realtor won't work with you unless you dump them, dump the real estate agent. Seriously, like if you guys are working with a lender and you're really passionate about them and you're like, no, I really like them. I'm really comfortable. They've really spent time. Like I trust them. They're good. I've checked the reviews because remember you guys are always supposed to be checking individual lender reviews and the real estate agent saying, no, that won't work. I mean, at that point, I would probably just dump the real estate agent because they shouldn't be forcing you to use someone specific. They should give you options. You don't even have to use those options, but if they're going to try to have you guys not use the lender that you want to use, they need to have a good reason why. And a good reason is not okay. Cause I hear this one all the time. They're not local. Okay, guys, the local card, like I used to play that back in the day, a hundred years ago when I was a local lender, right? When I was just in one little market, it was the whole card. You would tell the agents, well, you know, I know so-and-so and I know so-and-so like, and they think that there's more power. Like I've actually heard lenders say this and I always think it's messed up. They're like, well, if anything goes wrong with your loan, you know where I am and you can come and get me. Jesus. Like, is that something you guys need to be worrying about? Like my goodness. Like if, if <laughs> like it's so messed up, but it's like, if part of the sales pitch is, if I screw up your loan, you can hit me with a bat. Like that's not a very good sales pitch unless you're super in, like, unless you guys are like creeping. You're like, I want to hit someone with a bat. You know, it should be, Hey, I'm going to do an excellent job for you. This is how, you know, this is the education we're going to provide. We can do lock and shop. We can do all this different stuff. That is why you want to work with the lender, not just because you can beat them if they screw up your loan. Okay. Cause that's, that's literally the pitch. The pitch is like, Oh, well, I know the area who cares. Like seriously, Google earth knows the area as well. And it's your real estate agent that shows you the houses, not the lender. And I'm going to let you guys on in a top secret here. Come close. <laughs> I have peanuts on my face, but come close. A 30 year mortgage is the same in every state. A VA mortgage is the same in every state. FHA mortgage, same in every state. Shall I continue? I mean, that's the thing that always makes me laugh. Should your realtor be local? Yeah, definitely. Cause they have to open the door. Should your lender be local? It doesn't matter. Get the best lender. You can get the lender with the most experience, get the lender with the fastest team, get the lender with the top technology, get the lender. Who's going to get you across the finish line, have you educated and have you empowered get that. You know, just because Bob has the right zip code, if he's closed 12 loans for the year, do you think he has the same experience as a team that's closed 600? No, no. Now the counter argument to that is, well, call centers close a lot. 
Yeah, it's different guys, it really is. So that's my top tips on what to do if a real estate agent wants to sway you to another lender or what you should consider when you're looking for a lender. Um, we will talk about call centers more. I've been trying to figure out how to do the video without being super catty because I have friends at call centers that I really, really like, but that is not the norm. The norm with a call center is it's gonna be people who are brand new to the business or it's gonna be people who can't get their own business right because as a lender my job is to get my own business so they can't get their own business so they have to rely on someone marketing to get that phone to ring um, or it's someone who just doesn't want to deal with real estate agents so if they constantly have the phone ringing with clients they don't have to deal with it and here's the necessary uh, here's the truth okay can real estate agents be super annoying to lenders oh yeah oh my god yeah <laughs> yeah just like I can be super annoying to them, right? But it's part of the business, we're a team, okay? So you really need a lender and a lending team that's gonna work with your real estate agent because if you have those two at odds, you're not gonna get the same result as if you have everybody on the same page. But do they have to be best friends to get along? No, they just have to be professionals. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful. As always, questions or comments, or if you wanna get on my team's calendar, please check out the links and feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching, guys.